Game 1 as we're only days away from WWE Payback on Pay-Per-View. Welcome live in Dallas, Texas, where tonight in our main event, Tag Team Matchup, as Roman Reigns, the WWE Champion, teaming up with Mr. Money in the Bank, Seth Rollins, against the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne and the Reddit R Superstar Edge in our main event later on tonight. Also, women's tag team action, as we're going to have Alexa Bliss and Sonya Deville take on Saucy Blackheart and Becky Lynch, the fit of four women's championship participants, will be in tag action later on tonight. And as we kick SmackDown off with a one-on-one -on -one match featuring a man that is so happy because he finally was able to be rich. In the last few months, Baron Corbin has been in a drought. He's been, uh, I would say, broke, if you will. But now he's in a better state of mind. Able to win the jackpot, and now look at him. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds. Happy Corbin! We all know that Baron Corbin has made uh, bad choices in the past, which kind of came back to haunt him. Which led him to be a bit in, in a funk. That's why we haven't seen him much in Universe mode over the last few years. And now, it seems that Corbin is at the jackpot. He's looking to be in a happier state. Despite that the WWE Universe is against Happy Corbin here tonight. Either way, Corbin are going to try to change SmackDown's attitude from being sad to happy. As he plans on doing that against this man. Happy Corbin are going to try to change the tune of the charismatic enigma. The one and only legendary, the legendary Chef Hardy. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hardy back here on SmackDown for one-on-one -on -one action. And his opponent from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds. Chef. A big opportunity for Happy Corbin to go one on one wrestling back here on SmackDown. One on one against the charismatic Enigma, the former United States champion, in Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy, no doubt. Maybe they're looking to try to show Corbin that maybe things aren't always going to be happy. We'll see how Corbin will happen. Let's see, let's see how Corbin will handle a loss by the hands of Jeff Hardy, if that's the case. So maybe Corbin can give Jeff Hardy his end of days of being sad. I don't know. Well, we're going to find out in his opening matchup here on SmackDown. And also, we have another one-on-one -on -one match later on. We're going to have Jey Uso taking on Tyler Bate. Those two uh, men are part of their team. So we'll challenge for the will compete for the SmackDown tag team titles at the payback pay-per-view as Corbin former boxing uh, champion Golden Gloves champion teeing off on Hardy but Hardy now looking to come back into it Jeff Hardy with a standing uh, vertical suplex and a standing moves off to follow that's the charismatic enigma looking to do what he can to take it towards Corbin here ooh but Corbin Big old kick to the face, and Hardy now going right to the left. Hardy now with the strikes all over Corbin. And now look at look at Jeff got him up on the shoulders. Jeff Hardy fireman's carry snake eyes. And now Hardy with the Hardy act arrest drop kick in the corner. Now on the second row, Jeff looking to fly, but Corbin able to get out the way. And now Happy Corbin, a former European champion here in Universe Mode, they're going to try to take it towards Hardy here. Got him up on his shoulders, a man that once won a, a Survivor Series matchup back in 2K16 in Corbin. That's Jeff Hardy now trying to go for a kick, which would normally set up Hardy uh, for the Twist the fate, but look at Corbin, hand on the throw, looking to go for a toast time maybe, but Cor Corbin got countered, and Hardy with an X Factor. Kick after kick, and now Jeff off the ropes, full 
full body splash on the Corbin. And Hardy trying to take it towards Corbin with those kicks and now Hardy on top. Looking to fly, and he does. Big old splash by Hardy on the Corbin. The charismatic enigma, they're gonna take it as he goes for a twist of fate, and he does nail it on Corbin. Will it be, could it? No, it will not be, as Corbin able to get the shoulder up. And now, Hardy up top. Hardy, Stone trying to go for the swamp top, but Corbin got the knees. Knees up by Corbin. Wicked right and another and another. Corbin with the chop and a boot. Combination, combination of strikes by uh, Corbin. And now Baron Corbin trying to wear down Hardy. The Hardy again, X Factor. X Factor by Hardy. Goes for the cover, hook of the leg. Will it be what? Head on the ropes, head on the ropes! Head on the ropes, but the referee didn't see it. Uh, I don't know. If, Here is your winner, Jeff Hardy. I don't know if Jeff Hardy wanted to uh, take that victory, but despite all that, Hardy gets the win, despite the hand being on the ropes. Oh man, a misjudgment there by the referee. Live this Sunday on pay-per-view, it's WWE Payback, where we get to see nine matches in total, but six championships will be on the line and three grudge matches what will happen who will be able to get the job done who will stand tall who will be champion so many questions all will be answered at wwe payback featuring both raw and smackdown brands live this sunday Well, uh, very interesting there by Alexa Bliss. Very uh, excited for that fatal four-way elimination match that she proposed the at the Payback pay-per-view. Is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Jimmy Uso, representing the Usos from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 228 pounds. Jake. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we try to switch gears uh, for later on tonight, where the Alexa Bliss will be teaming up with Sonya Deville, Alexa Bliss, the SmackDown Women's Champion, will be in action later on. But right now, it's time for a one-on-one -on -one action as Jey Uso, one half of the Usos, along with his brother Jimmy, taking on one half of the Tag Team Champions. Because, ladies and gentlemen, here comes one half. A oh, mustache mountain and his opponent accompanied by Trent Seven representing Mustache Mountain from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds. One half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Tyler Bay. Tyler Bay making his way towards the ring. One half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champs. Won the titles back at the Money to Bank pay-per-view. Has been waiting for a challenge and apparently the Usos were able to step up. Especially after getting a tag team win last week against uh, Alpha Academy. And now ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get a little bit of a preview of what's going to happen at the Payback pay-per-view. Uh, the Payback pay-per-view, no doubt, one of, you, one of the most stacked pay-per-view cards I've ever seen outside of WrestleMania, of course. but. No doubt, a pay-per-view you do not want to miss. A lot going down at the Payback pay-per-view. Not like I mentioned, SmackDown Women's title will be on the line. 
That's his matchup begins here between Tyler Bate and Jay Oso. Right off the bat with a brain buster by Tyler Bate. The tag team titles will be on the line. Uh, both tag titles from Raw and SmackDown will be on the line. New Day against Retribution and Mustache Mountain against the Usos as Tyler Bate pounding away all over Jay. And now, look at Tyler Bate! Wicked right to the face there, but OJ will be trying to battle back with a kick to the face. Also, the Universal title will be on the line as Karrion Cross will defend it against John Cena. Wait a minute, look at this. Tequila Sunrise submission hold by Jey Uso applied. Tyler Bate, I thought he tapped there for a second, but able to kick his way out of the hold. And now, oh, big old kick to the midsection there by Jay. Not to mention the United States title will be on the line. Uh, Sheamus challenging Samoa Joe for the U.S. Championship. Jey Uso up top. Jey Uso thought about that corkscrew splash, but no avail. And now Tyler Bate got the arm and doing some damage. Also at the payback pay-per-view, the Raw Women's title will be on the line. Mia Yim against Charlotte Flair. Know that I'll be a great matchup. And the, uh, the most anticipated match of the night, in my opinion, Cody Rhodes versus Randy Orton. Two old friends, two old rivals going at it on pay-per-view. As Tyler Bate taking it towards Jay Uso's left arm. He went for a pin, but Jay able to kick out. As a... Uh, oh, wait! Oh! Jay Uso with a flat check, able to plant down Tyler. Not to mention Bobby Lashley, they're going to have an open challenge. So we're going to find out who will be the one to answer that open challenge. Roman Reigns will not be a part of the payback pay-per-view. Does not have a matchup on that very night. As Jay Uso again with that Samoan drop. Uso now. Uh-oh, in position. Setting him up. Super kick connects. Super kick right in front of Trent Seven. Bates partner hooking the line kick out. He able to kick out of two to Tyler. Manap Jay going up top. Would love to get a pinfall victory over the tag team champ. But look at Bate. Bate was ready to take down Jay Uso. And now look at this. Got the legs. Got the legs. Able to turn it inside out. Able to turn him inside out. Inverted busted crab. But look at that. Jay able to find a way to get out the hold. And now Jay with a wicked right. And I think Jay got a bust. I got a little blood up, up under his eye there. And now look at Jimmy Uso paying dividends. Distracting Tyler Bay. Distracting Tyler Bate, Jay now looking to capitalize. And, oh, he turned it up for the splash. But B at the last moment got the knees. B at the last moment got the knees up. And I got him up on his shoulders. And looking to go for a little spin. Airplane spin, looking to try to disorient Jay Uso. And looking to go backwards. No doubt both men a bit woozy after that. But now look at Bate goes for the cover, hook of the leg, up the airplane, spin, shoulder up at two. Able to get the shoulder up at two. And now Jay Uso slowly getting up to his feet. Bate has something in mind, but decided to go against it. Able to take it down with the head scissors. And, ooh, stomp to the arm. And again, stomp to the arm. I mean, Tyler Bate really stomping out that arm. And now Bate going up top. But again, Jey Uso able to get up to his feet. Averting disaster. I mean, I think Tyler Bate trying to go for the uh, spiral tap. And oh, Jey Uso trying to throw a right. But luckily, Bate had him blocked. Tyler Bate able to send Jey over the top to the outside. And now these two... Ooh, Going in at ringside, missed the elbow. Elbow hit right onto the floor. Kick to the midsection. And now, oh, got him in position. Oh, back elbow. 
He had him there, but luckily able to dodge, able to get out the way, and oh! Big old flat check onto the floor, and now look at this, Boston Crab on the outside! Jay Uso with the Boston Crab on the Tyler Bate, but making your taps not going to mean a damn thing, but look at Bate, able to turn that around! Count of seven by the referee, and now just chucking Jay across ringside. Bay back in the ring. Tyler Bay taunting, showing uh, a little showboat there. But Jay got back in the ring by the count of eight. And now look at Jay. Got him up on his up top. Trying to go for a suplex. Got him from behind. German suplex. German suplex by Bay. And now Bay up top. Looking to go for a spiral tap. On to Jay. Cover. Hooks the leg. Does he have him? No, he doesn't. For a split second, I thought he had him, but not the case. Trying to go for a move, able to counter. And now Jey Uso got him here, DDT. Down goes Bay. back and forth action here on SmackDown. All to set the tone for the WWE Payback Premium Live event. Super kick, running the bus. Down for the count, perhaps. Shoulders it down, and he got him. Jey Uso with a win. Big win over the tag team champion. Blood was spilled. Sweat. No doubt about it. Both men. Hard fought battle. Able to show each other respect. After a hard fought match. And that's what it's all about here on SmackDown. Because on payback for the tag team titles. These two teams will clash for the championship. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, there's the Intercontinental Champion, Kevin Owens. Obviously, Owens referring to Keith Lee dropping him on his first episode of the KO Show. Owens will gladly defend the Intercontinental title, but he plans on telling the world what he'll do that on the next episode here on SmackDown. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the next episode of SmackDown. But coming up next, women's tag team action as the women's champion Alexa Bliss team up with Sonya Deville against Shotzi Blackheart and Becky Lynch. Tendinal tag live next. Live this Sunday on pay per view, it's WWE Payback, where we get to see nine matches in total, but six championships will be on the line and three grudge matches. What will happen? Who will be able to get the job done? Who will stand tall? Who will be champion? So many questions all will be answered at WWE Payback featuring both Raw and SmackDown brands live this Sunday. As we're back here live in Dallas, Texas. Getting ready for some tag team action. We got a little bit of a preview of a fatal four-way match because tonight this is a tornado tag team match. Here comes the SmackDown Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. Won that very championship back at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view at the very tail end of season seven of Universe Mode. She defeated Tony Storm for that very championship and has been successful since then. She has been successful since winning that championship. Defended it against Mickey James at WrestleMania. Defended it against Rhea Ripley at Money in the Bank. And decided to up the ante. Taking on three other challenges for that very title at Payback this Sunday. But we're going to see how things will fare in this Tornado Tag Team match here on SmackDown. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Alexa Bliss along with her tag team partner. Here comes Miss Sonya Deville. Sonya Deville, former Money in the Bank winner, failed to cash it in. At the expense of Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey. No doubt will love to take advantage of the opportunity being presented to her at the Payback Pay-Per-View. Will love to walk out as the SmackDown 
Women's Champion. Never won a championship yet in Universe Mode, but we'll love to do so. We'll love to shock the entire WWE Universe this coming weekend. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And now we gotta wait for their opponents. Because, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bull pit! Here comes Shotzi Blackheart along with her tank. Shotzi Blackheart are gonna make an impact at the expense of Alexa Bliss and the rest of the SmackDown locker room. Shotzi Blackheart are gonna do the one thing she's always dreamt of doing. Would love to walk into a WWE premium live event and walk out as champion. I mean, look at that tank. Got a skull on it. Shanti Blackheart, no doubt, ready for combat. Ready for war. And no doubt she'll have to be at payback. And here comes... Big time! Because the man has come around here on SmackDown. Big time Becky Lynch, multiple time women's champion. No doubt about it, Becky Lynch in every season of Universe Mode has won a championship. Since debuting back in 2K16, never has a season gone by without Becky Lynch winning a title. We are now in Season 8. She has an opportunity of a lifetime to become, once again, SmackDown Women's Champion. The last time she held that championship was 2K18. Will Payback be a difference maker? Will Payback be the first time since 2K18 where Becky Lynch wins championship gold on the blue brand? Well, we'll find it out at Payback, but tonight it's all about a tornado tag team match can he get through tonight here on smackdown there we go it's almost like a fatal forward environment everybody in the ring no tags needed but obviously this is a tag team scenario for all four of these women they just gotta coexist for tonight and then they'll make it towards the payback pay-per-view and then compete for the women's title Alexa Bliss is stomping all over Shotzi. And now Bliss with a standing double knee moonsault. And oh, Becky. I don't know if she connected all of it with that drop kick, but look at Shotzi. Shot the shot to the midsection. And now Shotzi. Or it's Sonya Deville. Sonya Deville planting her gut first. And now, oh, oh. Strikes being delivered in this match, and now Alexa sending shots to Yata, while Sonya shots up the shot to the midsection. Got her hands on Becky again, punching the abdomen. Look at her leave a mark into the abdomen of Becky Lynch to Sonya, as Shotzi takes it towards Alexa on the outside. All they gotta do is just get through tonight. Look at Sonya Deville measuring Becky, got her up, and planting her down. Goes for the cover on the Lynch. Is it enough for the win? The Shotzi realize she does now. But luckily Lynch able to kick out of two. Again, a tornado style tag team match. One fall to a finish. No elimination needed. Big ol' Lynch by Big Tom Bex. As Alexa with the elbows to the abdomen. Got her hands on Shotzi now. Look at the work on that arm, there's Alexa Bliss, and look at Becky. Look at the work on the legs. The Indian death, the Indian deathlock-like maneuver by Becky applied on the shot of uh, Sonya. And now Becky going for the disarmer. Disarmer submission hold applied, but Alexa Bliss in the cover, but the referee doesn't realize it. Referee focusing on Sonya on whether she's gonna tap out or not. Disarmor locked in, and uh, now the referee knows, cover, 
But Becky able to make the save. Oh, Leaf. I mean, that's what happens. You got one referee in a four people max environment. Oof. Big old stomp to the arm, and now. Becky, look at this. Roll through. Able to roll up. I think Bliss able to kick out. And a Satsi truck kick on the Sonya. And now Becky taking Bliss to the outside. And now look at Sonya in trouble. Satsi blocked her with that queen suplex. Able to hook the arms and just planted her. And ooh, reverse atomic drop. And now got Sonya down. Truck kick. Look at Becky Lynch, got her. Oh! I believe Gut in face first. And oh, speaking of face first. Face first goes uh, Sonya off the poster. No doubt, Fatal 4 match is going to be a head on collision. But it is elimination uh, matchup at the payback pay per view for the women's title. Tonight is just a one fall finish. Strikes being delivered by both teams. And oh, wicked forearm. And Sonya. Planning her gut first. And now, oh, Becky being tossed across the ringside. And now Shotzi, and, or Sonya rather, and Alexa in the ring for the moment. And now it's Sonya and Shotzi up and down. She planted her up and down. And look at Sonya. Submission hold applied. She got the submission locked in. Is, is Shotzi going to tap here? Sonya with the triangle choke. Becky Lynch, I don't think she realized it. Now she does. Able to get back in the ring in time. And oh, spear. Spear by Sonya. Down goes Becky. Double knees. The double knees by Bliss. Bliss goes in the cover. Look at Sonya. Throwing strikes, preventing Becky. Alexa gets the win. Wow. Able to work as a duo tonight. Able to work as a cohesive unit tonight. But what will be the status of the Fatal 4 Elimination Match for the women's title at the Payback Pay-Per-View? Alexa and Sonya Deville gets the win here tonight. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this coming Sunday, it is WWE 2K22 Universe Mode presenting WWE Payback. For the first time since 2K17, we're going to have the WWE Pay-Per-View known as Payback, representing both Raw and SmackDown brands. Look at the matches set for the show as Charlotte Flair will defend the Raw Women's title against Mia Yim. Will Mia Yim be able to win the championship after returning only three to four weeks ago, or will the Queen stay on top? as champion. Cody Rhodes returned to WWE a few weeks ago, but Randy Orton had to make a statement at the expense of the American Nightmare. Will Cody Rhodes be able to put down the Viper, or will Randy Orton make Cody Rhodes' return a mistake? Edge going one-on-one -on -one with Seth Rollins after challenging for the Money to Bank contract. Seth Rollins refused, but these two looking to fight on pay-per-view in a normal grudge match. Will Edge get the win, or will Rollins stand tall? Tag team titles are on the line. The Usos challenging Mustache Mountain for the newly won SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Will the Usos regain power in the bloodline by winning the tag team gold? The New Day will take on a new challenge in Retribution against T-Bar and Mace. Will Mace and T-Bar be able to walk out with the Raw Tag Team titles or will it still be a New Day with Kingston Woods as champion? For weeks, Bobby Lashley has been absent in the WWE due to injury, but now he's looking to have his pay-per-view matchup that he was supposed to have a few weeks ago. Who will step up and answer the open challenge? The United States title will be on the line. Sheamus taking on Samoa Joe. Joe was looking for a challenge for his U.S. title, and Sheamus was able to oblige. So these two will battle for the prestigious United States Championship. Fatal 4-Way Elimination Match for the SmackDown Women's title. Will Becky Lynch win the title for the first time in years? Will Sonya Deville or Shati Blackheart win their first titles at Payback? Or will Bliss remain as champion? And in our main event, the Universal title on the line, John Cena gets to challenge Karrion Cross for the Universal title. Cross wants to have power in the WWE Universe. 
Can Jackson be the one to take it away from him? We'll find it out all this coming weekend at WWE Payback, presented by WWE 2K22. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. On the next episode of SmackDown, the WWE title will be on the line. Pete Dunne versus Roman Reigns in our main event on the next episode. Reigns and Dunne, one on one for the title. Also next week, we will hear from Kevin Owens regarding his Intercontinental title defense against Keith Lee. But in the meantime, Owens will be in action in a non title match against Drew McIntyre all next week on SmackDown after payback. You think you know me? And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event here on SmackDown. Here comes the Rated R Superstar, WWE Hall of Famer. A man that got drafted over to the blue brand and look at the change up SmackDown. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Edge. Here we go, a big tag team match with a lot of implications. I mean, we saw, we saw what happened last week on SmackDown when Edge speared Seth Rollins. We saw what happened a few weeks ago when Edge challenged Seth Rollins to a match for the Money to Bank contract, but Rollins was not going to accept the challenge with the contract being on the line. Rollins accept the match for a one-on-one -on -one match regardless, but not with the contract on the line. And here comes Amanda with a big opportunity on the next episode of SmackDown. Here comes the bruise away of former television champion and Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne had a gripe with the WWE Universe or at least on SmackDown. Pete Dunne had a grip with the fact that he didn't receive a WWE Championship match like others have done in the past when they were television champion. I mean, look at look at Christian. Christian was a, su a successful television champion. He defended it weekly, and he was able to get a WWE Championship match. Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio was able to defend the television title successfully for weeks. And then he was up next in line for a WWE Championship match. So no doubt Pete Dunn feels that it's his time to get that opportunity. Dunn feels that he's been shafted and now he was able to make an opportunity and now he has a title shot next week. But now ladies and gentlemen, as we all now must acknowledge the WWE Champion. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the Tribal Chief. The head of the table. A man that has been on a dominant WWE title reign. I mean, we haven't seen anything like this in years. I mean, Finn Balor was the last dominant world champion. Finn Balor was a dominant universal champion in universe mode. Held it for 440 days. But no doubt Roman Reigns just started to approach those days. He won the title at WrestleMania last year. And then, one year later, retained it against The Rock in the main event of WrestleMania. Defeated Brock at Money in the Bank. And now next week on SmackDown, Reigns will defend the WWE title here on the blue brand against Pete Dunne. A rare occasion, a rare occasion where the Tribal Chief is in action in this tag team match. I mean, a man that claims to be in God mode. 
I mean, Roman Reigns is the type of man that will go to a, a wrestling event by the WWE, whether it's a live event, Raw or SmackDown, don't matter. Roman Reigns is the type of man that will go to one show and immediately go to the gym right after. Reigns does not limit himself. He even once said that the reason why he goes to the gym a lot is because the gym is the one place that doesn't acknowledge him. Well, everywhere else he goes, including the WWE Universe, must acknowledge the Tribal Chief, the WWE Champion. Know that I'm sure Roman Reigns is hoping that his, uh, his cousins, the Usos, will claim the SmackDown Tag Titles once again, so that way the bloodline can be united as champions. Well, we'll find that out at Payback this coming weekend. Again, Roman Reigns will not be defending the WWE title at the Payback pay-per-view this coming weekend, this Sunday. He will not. The pay-per-view is already stacked as it is. But here comes the man that's looking to rip it all away from the Tribal Chief. Here comes his tag team partner. Here comes the Architect, a man that claims to be the revolutionary, Seth Rollins. Because he says that he is the visionary. He is a revolutionary, but he is also Mr. Money in the Bank. Seth Rollins walking out with the Money in the Bank contract, or at least his custom version of the briefcase. Not sure if the contract's inside or not, but either way, Seth Rollins would love to be the guy to strip it all away from Roman Reigns and take away the most prized possession that Reigns has right now is the WWE title. Seth Rollins has been chasing Roman Reigns since he won that contract a few weeks ago at Money in the Bank. The question is, will we see a cash in tonight or could we see it next week during the WWE telematch? When will we see a cash in? We'll only find out when Seth finally makes that decision. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen, main event time. Tag team action here on SmackDown in Dallas. Here we go, right off the bat, Edge versus Roman Reigns to begin this tag team bout. That's Roman now, got his hands on Edge. Got him up on his, they're gonna go for a suplex? No, nice counter, Edge is able to land on his feet and planted him with a German suplex. Again, tag team action, normal tag team match. We saw a tornado tag between the ladies earlier and now we got the tag team, normal tag team match by the men as Edge. Able to take Reigns down, able to make a tag. Here comes Pete Dunne, able to get a piece of the Tribal Chief. They're going to show Reigns of what's to come at the, uh, on the SmackDown next week with the WWE title being on the line. Kick to the midsection. Reigns, ooh, kick to the gut. And now, Pete Dunne got Reigns in the corner. And now Dunne, shot to the back. And again, and now Dunn just taking it towards Rain, but able to make a tag. There it comes Edge again. I mean, if you're Seth Rollins in this case, what would you do? Would you actually want to compete? Would you actually want to compete, or would you rather? Let your partner, who happens to be the WWE Champion, as Reigns with that DDT dropping edge, would you, let, would you rather let Reigns just suffer and get beaten up to where he's vulnerable, where he could cash it in and become champion? Well, as we find out right now, a tag made by Seth and now Edge want to get a piece of Seth Rollins who will, they will meet this coming weekend at Payback. Edge and Rollins trying to go for a right. Rollins got countered. And now Edge shot off the shot, kick to the gut. Execution DDT. 
Execution by Edge, and now the rated R superstar in position. Look at that go for it. Spear! Spear by Edge on the Rollins. Hook of the leg, shoulders it down. No, oh, what a shoulder up in two. That could have been a that could have been a precursor of what happens at payback. Spear one, two, three for Edge. But luckily, Rollins able to kick out, and now the match continues. Tag, here comes the WWE Champion, former Shield Brothers, going out of here. That snap to a kick to the face, and now Roman, they're trying to hold it down, but look at Edge, the light like suplex, Edge, able to bridge over, able to turn it over, Edge again, the light suplex, gone down for a bridge. Oh, but Reigns, barely got the shoulder up, but able to kick out regardless. Oof. Wicked neck breaker here. Tag, here comes Pete Dunne. Again, this is our main event here on SmackDown. We've seen a lot of great action, but now no, no doubt. Oh, a lot of scores are gonna be settled at Payback. Also on next week's episode of SmackDown. And now Pete Dunne. And, oh, got him in the corner, tag. Irish whip. Uh-oh, they go for a vintage tag team maneuver. Chuck to a hold, elbow to the spine, and look at that, Roman to the crawl. Rollins will have the tag, but Edge going to prevent that from happening. Doing damage to the WWE Heavyweight Champion. Edge, he thought about going one corner, but decided to go the other. Edge up top, look at the fly, Edge! Big old splash, Hellberry splash! Hook on the leg of the WWE Champion, Rare. Rollins able to make the save. Rollins able to make the save, look at Edge. Edge got Rollins in position, what's this? What could Edge be thinking here? Oh no, Edge! Oh, power bomb! I think Edge wanted to toss Ron to the outside, but not the case. And now Reigns shot to the midsection. Knee to the midsection as well. Kick to the cup by Edge. Edge another kick, and a coming ball to the back. Great action here on SmackDown, but Roman! Oh, but Roman! Didn't, get, didn't connect with the Superman punch. Edge, oh, counter for counter! You saw that Edge trying to go for a spear, but Roman got the knee up the last moment. Roman was able to get his knee up at the last second, preventing Edge hitting that spear. But Edge able to avert disaster, dodging that Superman punch, and now Snapmare pulled to the face by Roman. And now Roman Reigns pounding away on Edge. That's what's to expect by the WWE Champion to take control, lead by example. Ring just taking it towards Edge. Stomping on the hand. Shot after shot by Reigns. Kick to the midsection. And now it's Roman. Got Edge in the corner. Tag. Oof. Kick to the midsection. And now got Edge. Launched him to the top rope. Goes for the cover. A lot of press. Four him in the face. Two count. Got him. Oh. Thought he had him there. But look at Rollins. Measuring edge. Driving the knee to the side of the head. And now they get Rollins here. With a snap suplex on the rated R superstar. Trying to get in between between uh, Pete Dunne and Edge there. Trying to go for maybe a drop kick or an insecurity. Couldn't tell. But either way. But Edge. Was able to counter regardless. Kick to the midsection. Edge to Kilsen. No doubt they'll be in Rollins' future at payback. But tag. Here comes Pete Dunn. The Bruce Willis going to get into action. Goes for a cover off the DDT. Oh, but referee took too much time to get in position. And Reigns able to get involved. And now Reigns. Oh. Back over and a shot to the midsection. But look at Reigns. Able to get back on the apron there. But now Rollins. We can try to capitalize. Got him. Single knee gut buster. But Dunn. You saw Dunn able to kick, uh, counter with a kick. Everybody trying to be on their P's and Q's in this tag team match. Kick to the gut. And now Rollins underhook. You saw the underhook and now a tag. Here comes Roman. The underhook face buster by Rollins moments ago, leading Roman to have the advantage. And now Roman Reigns giving Dunn a little lesson here, a little 
preview of that WWE title match next week on SmackDown. As Reigns just pounding away, I'm done. Kick to the midsection. Roman got a neck breaker. Ooh, kick to the gut. Rollins now. The Luger man in his tag team match. Done. Got it. One more. Or some might call it the backstabber. Either way, effective. And then look at Dunn just messing around with the hand of Rollins. Dunn, smart move, making a tag. Here comes Edge. Oh, boy. Oh, wait a minute. I thought you were going to go for a tag, but never mind. Edge measuring Rollins here. Spear again. Spear again. Away from the ropes this time. Hooks the leg, and Roman made the save. And I look at Dunn. Dunn, they would have sent Reigns to the outside. This tag team match all over the place, but no doubt. Oh, boot! Big boot by Seth. And now Seth Rollins is gonna go for the curb. And now we're Edge! Edge! Send to Randy Orton with the RKO! Look at Dunn with a powerbomb on the outside. Pandemonium in his tag team match as Edge got him up on trying to go for a suplex. No, Rollins up on his feet, got him from behind. German suplex. Rollins with a German, shoots the half, form in the face, done. Planning Reigns, fell on the ropes by Edge. Oh my days. This tag team match is chaotic. And now look at Rollins sending Edge to the outside. Oh my God. Now Seth Rollins watching Edge. Trying to, maybe Edge trying to rethink his strategy, but wait a minute. Rollins now, I think Edge trying to go after Paul Heyman. But look at Rollins making the save. Maybe Heyman was talking some trash. I couldn't hear him, but got Edge's attention. Look at Rollins with a revolution knee. That revolution knee by Seth. And now look at Rollins once again. Revolution knee. Both men going at it at ringside. At Rollins in control. Look at wicked shot to the face. Kind of five by the referee. Look at Rollins. Rollins. Oh wow. Planning edge. Count of six. Count of seven. Throwing edge onto the barricade. Count of eight. Does Edge even realize? Edge is in bad shape. Nine. Count of nine. Can he get back in the ring? Count of nine. Ten. Oh, come on. A count out win there for Rollins and Roman. Seth Rollins able to take a count out win in this great tag team main event. Either way, I guess in their book, a win is a win. Then again, they were part of the shield for many years. Rollins and Reigns get the win here on SmackDown. And then, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, it's done. Done from behind. Pete Dunn, form in the face. Look at Pete Dunn. Been around on the reins. Seth Rollins just watching. Pete Dunn able to hit and run, if you will, but wait a minute, Rollins. Rollins got the contract. Rollins. Rollins are going to cash it in. Seth Rollins is going to become the WWE champion. Oh, wait. Look at Edge. Edge. Edge on the outside. Roman Reigns escapes it in the night as WWE Champion, but this time, thanks to Edge. Good night, everybody. We're out of time.